Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna to be looking at a outdoor smart outlet. So with this outlet, you can control any kind of lighting or other things that you wanna maybe put on a timer or you know just have remote on and off. The smart outlet can do just that. So let's take a closer look at what this thing has to offer. So this is made by a company called Tekken and this is what the box is, it's not very large. So here we do have a picture of the outlet itself and it is IP44 rated. So in the back here, we do have a little bit more information, but most importantly, the rating here on the wattage of 1875 watts. So that is actually quite powerful and should do pretty much any task that you need to switch on and off. All right, so let's open this thing up. It does have a clear plastic around it. So we do have a little user manual that popped out and it looks like it's pretty concise quite a bit amount of information here so we'll go over all the options that it has in a second here so let's go ahead and pull it out so the one we have is black this is what it looks like here so it looks like we do have a pretty tough short cable here coming out of the unit and it's a three prong so we do have a little hanging hook clip here so in the front it looks like we have a light and then just a one button power and the branding below that and as we go down we can see it does say s1 and s2 here and they are both protected by this like rubber cover so that's really nice so if you weren't going to use one of them plug it up and you can avoid the moisture going in it so we do have two plugs and this part removes completely if you pull them both out all right so if we go to the back here we can see there's actually little rubber feet so if it does sit on a table or wherever on the ground it does have some rubber feet there so on the back here we pretty much have the same stats we looked at on the box all right so that's pretty straightforward so it looks like there's two ways you can control the outdoor switch here the first way is voice and the second way is through your phone through an app and so they do have a little app here called smart life that you got to download so you can use it with this and also you're able to use alexa or google home to control this thing also all right so i got a few things set up i got the power i also got a test light where we're going to plug into here and then that's what we're going to power on and off and i also got my phone here so we can download the app and control it from that but before we do that i want to plug this thing into the power and see what happens you know if you don't do anything what kind of controls does it have so it looks like it powered on and there's a blue light. All right, so it is on and I guess that is off. So you can power it on and off like that. So let's go ahead and connect this light to it and see what happens then. All right, so it does give power. So if I turn it off, it just turns off. And if I turn it on, it comes right on. So I guess it just acts like a switched socket and this is your on and off. All right, so on our phone, we're gonna go to the Google Play Store. And if you're on Apple, they do have an iOS app. on. So the app we are looking for is called Smart Life, which is right here. So it looks like I already have this app from before. So that's a good thing. So it does need to be updated. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. All right. So we successfully updated. Let's go ahead and open it. So you will need to register. I should have an account. So I'm just going to log in. All right. So we're in the app and this is what we're greeted with. So it looks like I already added things before here. Let's go ahead and add a new. So we're looking for electronic outlets. I'm not sure exactly what there would be. So you can see this app can control a bunch of different things. So on the manual, it's telling me to find electronic outlets, but I do not know where that is. So I'm just gonna go ahead with something here. It's asking us to turn on the device. So to get the blinking light on this adapter here, we have to hold it for, well, we gotta turn it on first and then hold it for five seconds. So there we go, we can see it blinking back and forth. So you do need to connect to Wi-Fi first. I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so we're connecting to the device. We got a green blinky light here and it should be connecting here shortly. Looks like it turned off the light and turned it back on. And there it goes. Device added successfully. So that was quite easy, guys. So we're gonna click on done and there we go. So this thing is called the Smart Outdoor Plug and you can see here we have two individual controls of the two outlets. So you can actually control each outlet individually. So it looks like the green light here indicates that it is connected. And if I just click on it, I can manually turn it on and off. So we got the blue and the green light on together. So let's go ahead and see if we can turn on electronically the switch number two is what I'm connected to, to that light. So I'm gonna click the power button on switch two. And you can see there that I can turn it on and off from the phone. So that's really awesome how the two outlets are controlled individually through this app. 
So you do have quite large buttons down here that says all on and all off. So you can turn them on together. This makes it really nice if you need to control two things at certain times or you know just manually from just the push of a button here. So, so you can set up the time which is another reason what makes this thing so awesome is that you can schedule this thing a countdown or you can schedule other things throughout the week of when you want it to turn on and off so very very nice and easy to use app so yeah you can see how this can be very useful around the house you know controlling from simple things like just lights or controlling you know more sophisticated things like pool pumps or pretty much whatever you could think of this will be able to turn it on and off so and not to mention that you can use Alexa and Google and actually other voice services to control this switch also. All right, guys. Well, hopefully this video was informative and you enjoyed it. If you did, then hit that like button. If you want to pick this thing up, I'll leave some links in the description. It's from Amazon, so check it out. And if you enjoy videos like this and you want to see more, I do reviews and other interesting things on this channel. So if you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.